Good morning, Mustang. Today is an S4 day. The word of the day is depose, meaning to remove from power. Today for lunch, we have a Cuban sandwich on flatbread with a side of black bean corn salad. Now sit back and relax, because NHS update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to NHS Update. I'm Ron Marshallsey. And I'm Alessandra Varan. There's a training meeting today, March 8th, after school in room 118 for any Mustang mentor going to the Coakley on Thursday. Please see Ms. Cohn or Ms. McDonald if you cannot attend. There will also be a SAD meeting today after school. New members are welcome. Any junior who applies to be a Mustang mentor, please attend a mandatory meeting tomorrow, March 9th, in the GSU Lecture Hall. Please see Ms. Cohn or Ms. McDonald for details. Underclassmen are in the process of selecting courses for next year. Some students aren't sure which electives are the best fit. There's a lot to choose from. Did you know there's a guitar class? Kiki Ryan and Julia Higgins report. Here we go. Let's do it all together. Two, ready, and play. Band and guitar are two very different things. But to Mr. Conant, teaching both of them comes easily. You get used to it. Um, as a musician, if I between doing band and orchestra and guitar um, and a history of rock and roll class. Uh, you learn to shift gears pretty quickly. It's actually one of my courses here at Norwood High School uh, and we felt as a department we weren't reaching everybody instrumentally and guitar is such a popular instrument so we figured this would be a great opportunity for students to learn. It takes students about the whole year to become a basic campfire guitar player. And I hope to master it before this end of the year but if not I'll continue it next year. Students enjoyed this great chance to try something different. Um, it was free lessons. I always wanted to learn another instrument, but it was free, so I thought, why not? It's fun seeing students that um, just want to do something maybe a little bit more on the less involved side and uh, a little less structured, um, and it's something that they can hold on to and use the rest of their lives. Mr. Conant takes on some challenges while teaching the new students the instrument. Playing the instrument with good technique and getting a clear sound by holding down the fingers, um, that's I think the hardest thing. Only second to reading notes off of the page in music because not only is it learning to play an instrument, it's learning to read music as well. Students face challenges to become the players that they want to be. I'm holding down the strings and not looking at my fingers while playing it. I mean, it actually hurts a lot, but you get used to it after a while. Students gave up their free period six study to learn guitar. Unfortunately, not enough people find out about my free guitar lesson. So it's, uh, it is in the course book of studies and it is listed, um, but it is a minor class. Anyone interested in learning to play guitar during your study, talk to your guidance counselor about it during course selections. Reporting from Mustang Magazine, I'm Katherine Ryan. Thanks girls. For more information about electives, head on down to the guidance department or see a teacher for details. This week marks the 12th annual Foreign Language Week. Activities include language swaps, World Jeopardy, foreign film festivals, and much more. Thursday is Dressed Like Your Culture Day. If you'd like to participate, please see one of the foreign language teachers for the rules. Also, Thursday evening, come enjoy food and culture from around the world. Passports are $5 and can be purchased at the door, which opens at 6 p.m. And in celebrating Youth Art Month, we have an art fact of the day. Did you know English artist Andy Brown created a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by stitching together a thousand used tea bags? That's pretty cool. Well, we'll have another fact and for the rest of the month. Now here's this week's Name That Teacher. Every week we'll show you an old picture of a teacher, along with the fact. Tweet your guests to at TVNHS. A winner will be chosen by the end of the week. If you're interested in enrolling in AP Psychology for the 2016-2017 school year, applications are available for Mrs. Leichman in room 318. Please come get an application as soon as possible. They will be due on April 1st. Any students interested in volunteering, listen up. The Cleveland School's Family Math and Science Night this Friday and the Wellness Department are looking for student volunteers to help with the health fair on Saturday. There are a variety of hours and assignments. Please see Mrs. Glynn for details. 
Attention seniors, time is running out to buy this year's yearbook. Buy online at www.norwoodyearbooklounge.com or write a check made payable to Norwood High School and give it to Ms. Trelor or Ms. Shore by Friday. Now, here's Brian Curley with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. Anyone playing a spring sport must register online at www.nordmustangs.com and you must also have an up-to-date physical. Also, don't forget about Spring Sports Information Night, which is tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. All spring athletes and their parents are required to attend. That's all for today. Now back to the desk. And that is all we have for today. Be sure to check us out on mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day, Mustangs.